baby. Let me sell you this recipe. Cause a staycation here at this beautiful townhouse, y'all. I'm so excited. For the queen. Oh now. Lips, ash, I just look a fool. Like I don't match. You probably got one of the best lemon drops I ever had. Baby, bad on a budget, boo. Yup. Them kids love the stink. Baby, I might as well call y'all Helen Keller because y'all can't see me in this kitchen, baby. <laughs> what? Homie, you got me a hundred pieces. I'm still gonna make me a hundred M's with a hundred plans. Give me peso. Extendo. I carry just like a prego. We get around with nigga called Petro. Suck it, nigga. Shoulda knew it from the get go. Hey, y'all. Welcome to another episode of Life with Lexis. <laughs> Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and maybe keep up with your girl. I'm so sorry I had y'all waiting on another vlog, but baby, life has been so, so, so crazy. And I am still learning how to be vulnerable and being open to share my story with so many people having the world watch me. Like, when I'm going through something, the Pisces in me is just like, baby... I don't want to be on camera. I don't want to talk. I want to be about myself. I want to figure this out. And I just want to be alone. So I'm finally back with you all another vlog. And just to catch up with y'all, baby. Oh, Lord. March was a month, okay? It was really, really, really crazy. It went really fast. So much stuff happened. But a lot of opportunities actually fell in my lap. So, which brings me to what I'm doing today. Um, just to give y'all a little backstory, I was out with my friend, baby, like I told y'all, March was marching, okay? I was out every weekend, partying, having a time. Now, baby, I'm in the house locked in, trying to get back to the bed. But anywho, I met this really nice guy who had who owns a barbecue, barbecue truck, a mobile barbecue business, let me say that. Um, and baby, if you know, you know, baby, that Mississippi mud barbecue is what we're known for. Barbecue, soul food, all that. So, me and my friend Alexis, we was out at Iskina and we pulled up on this truck. You know, baby, you know, when you didn't have a few shots or two, you ready to eat, you go home, lay it down. So, we pulled up, bought a plate from him, and I see what the food was hitting on. And I was like, oh, baby, let me help you out. Okay, let me help you out. And I, you know, exchanged information with them. And we had a really great conversation. And we both talked about how we can bring value to each other's business. And baby, your girl finna be selling the recipes, okay? Because I told y'all, this year is my last year working at Bank of America. I'm speaking into, it, into existence. And that's just that on it, okay? So that's what's been going on on top of everything with Ebony Fit Weekend. I'm going to be in Houston. This weekend, hosting a camp for my girl, Ray. And yeah, that's just how everything is going to go. But hold on, y'all. be right back. All right, y'all, I'm back. My mama called me with the tea, baby. So, um, like I was saying, I met this guy who has this restaurant called Off the Bone. And I, I bought a plate from him, supported him. You know, I told the truth about, you know, I feel like the fool has potential but baby, you need this Mississippi touch on there. So we all just got to talking business. My friend Alexis, she does content, um, content creating and creative directing. So, you know, she pitched to him that she could help him grow his business page. And I told him, baby, let me sell you this recipe. Cause once you change your recipe up to what I'm gonna do, it's gonna hit. So right now I'm in here preparing food to take to him tomorrow and let him test out the recipe and see how he likes it so i've already washed my ribs i got them um hold on ribs. so i got the mustard on the ribs and i got my seasoning in a bowl i'm not gonna tell y'all what all i'm using because at this point baby i need my credentials when it comes to this food because i don't play in this kitchen baby that's one thing i don't do I don't play in the kitchen. So, yeah, y'all. I'm supposed to be letting him taste the food tomorrow. So, right now, I'm just prepping it up and getting it all together. Getting it all together, baby. I'm going to let these ribs slow cook in the oven first. And then, I'm 
I am going to um, put them on a grill tomorrow. So I'm probably going to, if I have time before it's time for me to go get Kalon, which I should be leaving the house at six, I'm going to go ahead and try to cook the baked beans too because I want him to taste my baked beans. So yeah, y'all, I'll show y'all a little bit of the process, but not too much. I'll talk to y'all in a second. All right, y'all, so I got my reels all seasoned up. They look amazing, of course. And I'm about to unfold out them. My hands is dirty. I didn't touch my camera with this dirty freaking, um, with my dirty hands. But I'm cleaning it off in just a second with a light all like good. No, ma'am. So ribs are good and seasoned up. Stop hearing me. Let me see. Let's see what it looks like. I gotta put a little bit more mosquito on too. So yeah, y'all, the ribs are prepped. Good and prepped. And I'm gonna keep them in this pan. I'm gonna keep them wrapped up until tomorrow. So you gotta get out of the room. <laughs> Stop uh, making fun of me. I don't care vlogging. That's why I'm talking to myself. I got my camera back there. I need a bit of kitchen. Y'all need to book me for y'all uh, Easter catering services. Every time y'all book me with them hoes, it's gonna be big drama. 20 basic burgers, we can go by Sunday service. When you want me to cook for you? Just let me know. Gonna do the rest. You ain't asking me to cook for your clothes. Now I'm gonna get fed, bookie. Oh. All right, y'all. So the ribs are done. I wrapped them up and put them up. Now I'm about to go ahead and prep the baked beans too, cause y'all, I gotta work tomorrow, so I'm trying to get as much done as possible today. So I'm gonna bring y'all up to see my head in a minute. Hold on. I'm about to start on the baked beans. So I got this, this. I got some green, a green and red bell pepper that I'm gonna use. And I got a white onion, so I'm gonna finish cleaning off my cutting board. Now baked beans are easy to make, like Super duper freaking easy. I want to put bacon in them, but I know everybody don't eat pork. And I ain't never tried doing no turkey bacon in no baked beans. So, I'm going to just stick with my sausage and my ground beef. I be seeing people put mustard in their baked beans too. I might need to try that. But I ain't never tried it, so I don't want to try it and not like it. So, like I was telling y'all, um, the dude has a franchise down here called Off the Bone. So, I am going to let him taste my recipe tomorrow, see how he likes it. And if so, your girl will be getting some bread off this good country Mississippi barbecue, okay? And he's a really genuine guy, and I'm really excited to work with him because I just love seeing young black men prosper and really do something positive with their money because y'all know Negroes be out here in the street not doing nothing, not having nothing going on. And, like, when I see somebody really trying to do something positive, like, I want to do everything I can to help them. And, like, I feel like we are so divided as a community and that's why we can't get nowhere y'all so i'm excited to help him out with his business and um you know help him elevate his brand because why not so i'm gonna get my sausages cut up that's what i'm doing now i'm gonna get the ground beef cooking and y'all i gotta be out the house by six o'clock because kaylon has a game at seven 45 so i want to be at the house and get this done i really want to stop by ross before i go pick him up but that's like the opposite way it ain't that far it's like 10 minutes from my house but because i gotta take this dress back and then like tonight i want to find me some more clothes for ebony fit because the clothes that i did buy first of all i already want, wore one of the dresses that I was supposed to wear to the housewoman. I wore it to this housewoman party. Y'all, when I tell y'all, 
I went to this Nigerian housewarming party. Um, it was a, a reconstruction. And baby, when I tell you the property was amazing, it was torn down and built up from the ground up. The interior was amazing. And the foot baby, if y'all know anything about Nigerians, y'all know they know how to cook. So, the food was amazing. It was so many beautiful people there. Women, baby. I ain't never been in a room full of women that gorgeous. Like, everybody was drop dead gorgeous and friendly and nice. And everybody was cool. So, I enjoyed myself. Made some new connections. And that's how I said, y'all. God, baby. God been working. Because he, he been putting a lot of people in my path that I could really network with and actually make some things happen with. So, I'm super excited because, baby, when I tell y'all, life has been a doozy. I had, I don't know if I told y'all, but I feel like I'm all over the place. I just, I just have been off the camera so long that I just got so much to catch y'all up with. So, y'all know that I am um, hosting a camp for Ebony Fit Weekend. If y'all know, y'all know. I am hosting it in honor of my friend Raven who committed suicide back in September of 2022. So every year I travel and host the camp in remembrance of her. And this year our first stop is Houston. So this year, now y'all know I've been working with this. Um, I've been working with my former business partner on trying to get these jumpsuits sold, like trying to really build a brand and like nothing has been going according to the plan and i really had to remove myself and no longer represent that brand because our goals was just not aligned aligned and that's completely okay because sometimes you know you just got to do stuff on your own and and that's just that on it but we had planned to sell the jumpsuits at a vendor table Y'all, nothing went as planned from us getting scammed by Atlanta makeup artists and photographer to us not even knowing if we're going to have the product in time to it just, it not happen, happening at all. And then our Airbnb got canceled. Like, I just have to, my whole little strategy is just thrown off, y'all. Like, everything I thought I was going to be doing in Houston, I'm not going to be doing it. But me... I am the queen of improvising and making shit happen because the show must go on. Regardless of who's there, what's happening, the show must go on. So, y'all, I just, your girl been going through it. Like, I ain't gonna lie. It's just been bull crap after bull crap, setback after setback. And I was just really over it, but I'm back in my zone. I'm ready to get things together. We have less than 10 days to Houston, and I still haven't found a hotel or any of that for me and one of my co-hosts but i'm gonna get that together and i'm gonna try to look in ross and see if i can find me some cute little some cute little pieces to wear down there because baby i got to um i gotta pop out sorry if my i hope i ain't showing no booty hold on uh, do i want to use my cast I it. so i got the sausage all cut up I'm going to saute my peppers first. So, I'm about to cut up some red bell peppers and some green bell peppers and some onions to put in my, um, to put up in my beans. So, and I'm going to saute them on the skillet first. All the peppers and stuff. But yeah, y'all, it's just been so much going on. And like I told y'all, I get overwhelmed easily. And like just having a camera in your face while you have so much going on, like it can be very hard. Like, and then just showing every bit of your life can be tough as well. Like, especially when you're a very private person, it can be really tough being vulnerable on camera let me say that because you know i ain't got to get on here and tell none of my business and i don't but i like to be real with y'all and tell y'all what's going on especially when i just go missing and don't post nothing because i owe y'all that y'all are my family y'all are my people baby this is life for Lexi. so when stuff going on in my life i have to 
keep y'all in the loop because I know ain't nobody perfect and we all go through stuff, but child, sometimes it just be a bit too much. It be too much. So, but y'all, I'm about to get back. I'm about to actually start incorporating fitness into my page more because it's really my lane. Like when I started YouTube, I just came on here, you know, as a lifestyle creator. But like I'm really into fitness head first. So I want to start sharing that more with y'all. So let me know in the comments what do y'all want to see? What do y'all need help with when it comes to y'all health? And wellness goals like let me know because I am more than welcome to help so yeah I'm gonna um, come back on camera when I'm halfway done with the beans and show y'all what they looking like all right y'all so I'm so sorry I did not show y'all the beans but baby the beans is bean and I can't wait till he tastes his food tomorrow like I cannot wait but I am currently about to rush to Ross so I can exchange this dress. I gotta make a little stop by the mailbox to get something out the freaking mail that Kayla don't want me to get. I'm so sick of him ordering stuff right before his games. Then be wanting me to get the shit out the, get the stuff, I'm so sorry. Get the stuff out of the mailbox before I leave knowing that I already be rushing. Like, come on now. Lips, ass, shit. I just look a fool. Like, I don't match. Y'all should see what I got on. Look what I got on. Look in a mess, but I don't care because I'm trying to get things done. I'm trying to get things done, baby. So, right now, I'm finna go get whatever he's begging me for out of this damn locker so he can leave me alone. You're welcome. And then I'm gonna stop by Ross before I go and pick him up. So, hopefully, I don't be late, y'all. Y'all know. I'm always rushing and I'm always late to something. But oh, I be trying, child. I just can't. I'm only one. I'm only one little old lady. I can't do it all. But yeah, I'll talk to y'all later when I get to Ross. Bye. All right, y'all. I made it to Ross. Let's pray that they got this dress in my size. I just got it this weekend, so hopefully they do. Um, baby, because that medium, it was a little snug, boo. But y'all, the dress was only $14.99. It's so cute. So let's just see if they got a child. Ross had the goods today. I got me some cute cargo skirts and this little tennis skirt. And they had the dress in the size that I needed. Well, I'm so glad. Yay! Baby, one thing y'all gonna stop doing is sleeping on Ross. Because I just went in there um, and one, they had the dress that I needed in the right size. And I got like three cargo skirts. Well, two cargo skirts, one little gray tennis skirt, and a, a cute Aaliyah graphic tee. Baby, I can't wait to put my outfit together, boo, because who? Uh, I'm so happy, baby. Ross, y'all won today, y'all. Y'all got me. And on the three skirts that I bought, um, plus the shirt, I only spent $40. So, baby, bad on a budget, boo. Yup. So I pull up to get him for his game. He in there sleep. Now he late. You better do something. He ain't trying to hear nothing I'm talking about, y'all. So ooh, we made it to the game. They're about to come out. Kaylin wanted me to get on the field and take pictures of him, but I don't know how I would do that. But I'm going to definitely get some videos. So. We're here. There we go. Oh! Oh, no. oh yeah! Oh yeah! Let's go, Kayla and Let's go! Down to the right. Woo! You better stop it. Woo! Let's go, Grayson! Let's go! Woo! Kings against kings.
Alright y'all, so we made it home from the game. My camera got one little notch on it. But I want to show y'all these skirts I got from Ross before I go to bed. So give me just a second. I'm going to show y'all all three of the skirts I got. Because like I told y'all earlier, y'all going to stop sleeping on Ross, okay? Period, baby. Bad and bougie on a budget. I spent $40 today. And I got three skirts and one shorts. One pair of shorts. So I'm going to show y'all. Alright y'all. So this is the little olive green skirt I got. Real cute. It's giving. This is the olive green skirt. Don't worry about my blanket on the back there, okay? Don't worry about it. Um, but yeah, real cute. $9.99, baby. Yeah, don't play with it. All right, y'all. Here's the second skirt. It's a little tennis skirt, y'all. It's a little short in the back. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I'm gonna do something with it though. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh, I'm talking, so I told her I need it like this so I can shake some. She told me, so I don't need to be shaking that. Girl, please. Me shake some. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, this is the perfect shake some skirt. Y'all, right, this kind of like the green skirt. But it's in black. It got cute little pockets right here. Cute and simple. Hey y'all, so it's the next day. It's currently Wednesday, 3.47 p.m. Y'all, when I tell y'all I've had such a busy morning from fin finishing that food that I prepped yesterday. Lord, let me tell y'all, I woke up at 5 a.m., got up, started cleaning up, and started to prepare the food like around 7. Put the ribs in the oven at 7. Went to the store, got a few items, went to Ross, got some stuff I didn't need. But I was just, you know, wasting time while the food was cooking. Went and put gas in my car. And then, y'all, got ready for my staycation this weekend. So, I'm doing a staycation here at this beautiful townhouse, y'all. I'm so excited. I really needed this because I've been stressed out. Like, I've been so stressed out, and I appreciate this so much. I really need this time to just relax and get treated like the princess that I, that I am, okay? So, I just made it to the Airbnb. I still not have not dropped off the food um, to Sko, who, I, who I'm making the order for. But, I don't know, I'm just waiting on him to become available because the work is done, baby. After I got through doing all that, that cooking, I came downtown to the Airbnb and it's time to relax and get prepared for tonight. So, I'm about to go downstairs and get my purse out the car, out the garage. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And I'm going to give y'all a view of the Airbnb because, baby, it's fire, okay? So, I'm so, I'm sorry y'all that I did not bring y'all with me earlier when I finished off the food. But, like, if you agree, if you really be in that kitchen and if you know, you know, you know that cooking and recording and trying to talk is just, baby, it's too much. I be like, boom, 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 I'm trying to get done. And I be forgetting to talk to y'all. But I hope he enjoys the food because that'll bring a really good business day, business deal to the table. And yeah, that's all I'm about this year, baby. Making money and making connections, okay? Nothing else. So let me um go get my purse out of the car, y'all. It's so many stairs in this Airbnb. I'm tired. But I'm gonna show it to y'all once I get done. Get my purse. Be back. Second floor. Kitchen. I see the kitchen. Living room. Real nice, baby. Check it out. All right. Third floor. Third 
third. Y'all, this house is four floors. First bedroom. For the queen. All right, let's go to the third floor. I'm sorry if I'm not giving y'all a good tour, but I'm trying to record on my phone. And oh my camera. The balcony. to the city lights up tonight. Skyline view patio. Y'all know what go on out here. Hey y'all, it is the next day. It's Thursday at 11.20 and we are currently at Five Bistro. Baby, last night was lit. We went to Kitchen and Cocktails, as y'all can see. Then we went to this other little spot called uh, Chico. It was like a little gaming place and went home and baby turned up even more. So yeah, last night was really amazing. Right now we're out, baby, I'm trying to get my hair together and talk to y'all. Right now we're at Five Bistro and Bar, about to have brunch, last lunch, and then we're gonna see where the day takes us. So yeah, y'all stay tuned. Okay. 
y'all. So Zara didn't have anything. So now I'm in Forever 21. And I see this cute little silk slip dress. And baby, I love it. And then I got this little jumpsuit. Mm-hmm. And then a cute little cover-up dress. And this cute little top. That I feel like I can, it'll be cute if I wear some white pants with it, but I don't know. Then this denim dress I might put back, but I'll always be searching for a denim dress. But okay, I'm gonna try this stuff on, all right? And I'll show y'all. since I've been on camera like probably the last time I recorded was Thursday today is currently Saturday and today I'm gonna wrap up the vlog so whatever I do today is gonna be the end of this vlog just to give y'all a recap of my Wednesday and Thursday baby a blast was had okay like I can't even fathom to y'all how much fun I had and how many places I went and I don't know what it is, but when I'm out doing stuff, I don't like picking up my camera every, every time. But I also know that when I'm YouTubing, I got to, you know, paint y'all a picture, give y'all a story on um, everything that's going on. And some kind, sometimes that'd be kind of hard. I don't know, let me adjust y'all. Hopefully it ain't creepy. But sometimes that'd be kind of hard, especially when you in the moment, you feeling good, you enjoying your person. Like, everything was a vibe. So, um, Wednesday night... We checked into the Airbnb that we got downtown. Uh, we did a little staycation. Um, checked in Wednesday night. Um, we went to dinner at Kitchen and Cocktails. And it was a Well, it wasn't really dinner. It was really kind of... Because it was like four or five. But went to Kitchen and Cocktails. Um, then we went to this place. And I'm going to show y'all all these places. I got little clips of them. And I'll, you know, tag the place, the address, so y'all can add it to y'all list. But, um... Went to Kitchen and Cocktails. Then we went to this place called... Uh, what was it called? <laughs> it was some type of gaming place. I'll go in my phone and see because I recorded those videos on my phone. So we did that and we took it in for the night. Thursday is when the adventure happened. We was out from sun up to sundown. Your girl was so tired. I was begging to take a nap. But we started off at 5 Bistro for brunch. Um, then we went to the Galleria Mall, did a little shopping, then we headed to Addison, um, and went to the plaza out there, I don't know what it's called, um, but we went to a sushi bar, we went to Put Shack, we did virtual reality, we went to Lil, Lil Pokies, it was a, um, a speakeasy in there, very, very nice, I'm gonna add all that in there, y'all, like, and I tell y'all, it was so hard for me to catch up because of all the stuff we was doing. After we went to Little Pokies, we went to another speakeasy in um, Deep Ellum. So we went from Addison to Deep Ellum. Um, it's called Babaloo's, y'all. It was amazing. It was like a, a library theme speakeasy. And we opened it up on Thursday. They played jazz. They had a whole band there. We only caught half of the uh the little performance of the band but y'all it was a vibe i had a good time baby princess treatment was definitely given this weekend and i love it here but so after that we went to punch bowl social um and did some dart throwing and i can't even remember what else we did like i was such like on such a high like with everything that was going on that day and i'm sorry if the things that i'm gonna post and you know to show y'all it's gonna be a little choppy but baby your girl was enjoying herself it's been a long time since i had a time like that so i was just trying to soak it up but um but yeah ended off the night at babaloo's when it got tacos went home with the sleep and next day had to go home back to reality so i'm back home and i got me some goodies y'all um these books were recommended to me by skull which i told y'all about earlier in the vlog who has the barbecue business the mobile barbecue business that i'm about to you know start working with 
sharing a little of my sauce and he recommended this book it called it's called mine is the master by james allen and he said it's 40 books within this one book so i'm gonna get on this and then he recommended another book called prosperity bible so i'm gonna start reading these books and i'm gonna share with y'all and let y'all know what i think so this package number one package number two is a bit personal okay and baby by the way these folks um package this stuff up i hope everything is in here so i don't know if i told y'all earlier in the vlog that i'm no longer representing nuri fit coat um and i kind of felt like it was gonna go that way but nevertheless it's still all love but baby one thing about me i don't sit around and wait for shit to to turn into term oil i always got another plan i always got something up my sleeve because i just have really great discernment and baby i, I be seeing where shit gonna go long story short so with that being said i will be starting my own brand very soon these are my very first samples um if i can get the package open these are my first few samples and i just hope they're amazing i hope it's everything that i imagine and i'm gonna show y'all i don't know if i'm gonna try them on for y'all today or i'm just gonna show y'all one side get every i don't know i don't know how i'm gonna do it but i'm just excited i do know that Here's one of the pieces. Ooh, the material. The material. Oh, I'm finna go up. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. I'm finna try some stuff on. And yeah. So I'm supposed to be taking my son if he will wake his ass up. Supposed to be taking him to the band cages. He was supposed to be making me some avocado toast. I don't hear no toast sizzling. I don't smell no avocado. It don't even seem like he didn't got up. So, baby, he must want to get left at home. That's what it's giving. So, if he want to get left at home, that's perfectly fine with me, baby. I'll go work out and go go to the nail shop. I don't care. Um, so, if he don't get up, he will be getting left. And I'm just going to do me. So, I'm going to try my clothes. I need to take a shower first. I'm going to try my stuff on. And then, well, I'm going to take a shower, then try my stuff on. Then I'll talk to y'all later when I get to moving around and stuff. I still want to show y'all the jumpsuits on the vlog. Like, why not? Why not? Why they send a bra and then send the tights, bro? That's stupid, but okay. All right. I'll talk to y'all later. Happy Sunday. It's Easter Sunday. It's Easter Sunday. It's Easter Sunday. Y'all, this vlog is going to be all over the place. It's going to be a mess. And at this point, I don't care. Because if y'all going to watch it, y'all going to watch it. And y'all going to love it. But, like I said, it's Easter Sunday. Kate, can you turn the light on, please? It's Easter Sunday. Y'all know they got me slaving. I'm supposed to be resurrected and resting. But, of course, I'm on rib duty and macaroni duty. So, ribs are already made. I made those this morning. I did not pick up the camera because, baby, that process was, I was in the trenches. I was in the trenches. That's all I can say. Y'all, the ribs were so tender that not only, they were falling off the bone, and I had walked away for a split second, and the grill was so hot, so it kind of burned the foil, and the ribs were sticking. So, baby, 
At this point, they eating pulled pork today. They ain't eating ribs because the ribs have fell off the bone and they have fell apart. And I, I just, I don't know what to do. So I'm about to make mac and cheese right now. Smoked Gouda, pepper jack. I asked for Monterey Jack, but my mama got me Kobe Jack. So just gonna have to do what I do with what I can do. So I think they're still at work. They get off at, in 10 minutes, so I gotta whip this macaroni up. My mama, she made greens. Your mama? Oh, she up? Oh, they made, my mama made greens, black eyed peas, cornbread, and dressing, y'all. And it's finna go down, okay? It's, it's, it's finna go down. So, hopefully I can get enough footage today to wrap up this vlog. Baby, this vlog has been going on since Tuesday. And I just been so, everything's been so chopped up and so, I ain't been picking up the camera. I ain't been in and it out. So hopefully I can edit it good enough to where, you know, it's still an enjoyable vlog. And I could possibly put y'all on some places because I did do a lot this week. Tuesday and Wednesday, I went a lot of places. So, well, Wednesday and Thursday, I went a lot of places. So hopefully I got enough footage and y'all know we're going to cut the food today. So that's going to be more than enough. So I'll talk to y'all later. I got this little cute dress on. Bow, bow, hold on. Let me show y'all. Oh, they moved me back though. So, yeah, I'll see y'all later. I look cute. So, I got all this cheese and no grater. So, I'm gonna have to get ghetto. I'm gonna have to get ghetto and cut this cheese up by hand and make my rule like that and i didn't want to do that because that's that's 10 times the work that i'm trying to do because i wasn't trying to do no work at all but somehow some crazy way i still end up doing it so I'm going to see how I'm going to get this uh, stuff together. I'm not going to tell the ribs up today. Yeah, what's up? The ribs. The ribs. The ribs. Oh. The ribs already tore up. Now the mac and cheese is going to be lumped up. Because I ain't got no cheese left. Right? So y'all, if y'all see this food on anybody's plate, just know they set me up for failure. Well, the ribs when they pop. This macaroni definitely takes off. Because how she got all these good stuff on her house and no cheese burger. Girl! Did you have cheese burger for Thanksgiving or Christmas or whatever when you cooked? Yep. Yeah. No, the hell you did. Well, I'm gonna rob hers. Oh, well, I didn't know. You need to have a cheese burger. I don't need to break no damn cheese, no way. Well, you all see how y'all favorite YouTuber talk? All I said was just, you need to have a cheese grater. That's it. That's it. I need a big knife. Tea knife Let's see how this cheese turned out. I'll be back. I've had to sacrifice quite a bit, right. but I enjoy sacrificing it for what she's doing. Thank you both very much. Okay, that enough, man. Now I got to call up there. Speaking truth, what do you need? What more? Just that. <laughs> Would you to help me help, sure. I thought you wanted to come to the house. 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 You to come to the house. You wanted 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 to come to the
bought me a cheese grater because I was still going to be maybe struggling with that cheese. So the cheese is all grated up. And then kids love to stink. But so the cheese is all grated up. I'm going to make my roux and then put the stuff in the oven. And I am done for the day. Okay. I'm done. Bigger pan, but y'all know who has some it. She ain't got you. Want to try to do this one? Yes, absolutely. She's the only resourceful person here. Oh, yeah, this the batch right there. All right, y'all. My mac and cheese sauce it came out perfect. I'm just waiting for that little block of smoked gouda to. Melt down. Mm-hmm. Selling the recipe for fifty dollars. Fifty dollars a person. Fifty dollars a person. <laughs> yep. Yeah. The whole set six. Go ahead, recipe. Just so they they can buy it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get mac and cheese y'all already did me a little oh, cheese pool video oh, so that's the yeah, but know. it looks amazing dressing cornbread black eyed peas 
Yeah. I'm ready to go back. Greens. Macaroni. And the ribs are in the oven. You a snitch. Don't play with me. Snitch is just. Babe, I might as well call y'all Helen Keller because y'all can't see me in this kitchen, baby. <laughs> what? Helen Keller, the blind lady. You remember her? Mm -hmm. Oh, that you don't take these off. Mm. Yeah, or you just, you mm. can take them off. Sit up on the table. Cause you in my place. Uh huh. Cause now she didn't rearrange me. <laughs> okay, sir. He, he got it. Oh, he got it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 You ain't gonna keep it coming? Hello. Yes, sir. Can't bring me the hot sauce with my greens. Before they be gone. <laughs> Sound like that boy want to start today. I ain't even recording my plate. What is this? They just gonna feed me tear down. Justin? No, you feel. Baby, food 10 out of 10. Yeah. Highly recommend. Real, the bone coming straight out. The bone was holding on for dear life today. He said it's supposed to. You're supposed to shake it down and you're supposed to fall off. Yeah. You got the end part. <laughs> that why he ain't falling off. So what you want to drink? Put the macaroni here. Um, sweet tea mix. Why you got the camera on me? Why you got the I was just going to say, boy, them lips so white. What you outside doing? <laughs> What the thing? I can talk right now. <laughs> Just give me a few seconds. I'm gonna let you know what it's like, alright? Alright. Okay. Huh? Nothing. As far as the ribs, mm -hmm. give me your review. You and uh, my homeboy Patrick. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all naked Nick with the rib with the barbecue on mm -hmm. it. Okay. But you a woman. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give him an A and I'm gonna give you a 9 just to drink with me. Women don't barbecue. They don't. She got she didn't hit the Easter eggs. Now they finna go. You coming in? Yeah. No. How many eggs you gonna get coming? All of them. She ain't gonna get not one. Come on, y'all just stay right here and eat out of the street. This is a lot of Baby, the weed didn't pull this hell back. Baby, I thought you were supposed to hide the eggs. I did. Baby, the eggs is just as visible as day. Y'all, baby, this ain't no Easter egg. This ain't no Easter egg hunt. The eggs is visible. Baby, I should have came out and participated in this. If it was this easy. Oh, let me not show your address. Okay, how many you think you're gonna get? You gotta go, baby, okay? Probably should put you some shorts on. You're gonna trip in them big pants. <laughs> Hold on, it's the car, TT. Okay. Come on, get out the street. Oh. Carl, I still like find myself on the right side. These exclusive, boo. Get ready. Oh, your mark. Get set. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Come on. 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 Come on
I'm kind of raking them eggs up. Right. One of your first ones, you passed it. You got an egg and you missed the other one. It's a more eggs out there, y'all. <laughs> you missed the golden one. Let's see. Let me see your boy. Kate was putting eggs in her bag with all of you She ain't got no regular eggs. She made sure she got some golden ones though. Ready? That's just, it's, all right, okay. Open them. Uh-oh. 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 Uh-oh.
that I have a better week and I go out of town and execute what I need to do. I hope this vlog is, I don't know, I just hope it's, it's, it's okay. I really just want to, you know, I had a good week. I had a good week. I did a lot of stuff, but I wasn't recording and picking up my phone and my camera because I was just trying to, you know, enjoy the moment. Also, I end up deleting, accidentally deleting the intro to this vlog. So I'm going to have to magically come up with a way to redo that part and explain to y'all. We'll really give y'all another intro, but child, bear with me. Cause your girl is tired, but I'm checking out. I'm ending out this vlog, and that's just gonna be that on that. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and tell me y'all favorite little places that y'all seen me go to um, this weekend. And I'll be back with more. Deuces, Houston trip on the way.